Hey everyone, this is Fred Ranger. I hope you're doing good. In today's video, I just want to share my excitement around the firmware update that Fujifilm just released this morning on March 30th. I'll put a link down below if you want to upgrade your cameras, but just when we thought that the X-T2 and the X-Pro2 were already very, very capable and very good cameras, they release a massive firmware update that brings new features and also some bug fixes. But more than that, I'm, I'm excited about the firmware update, but I'm most excited about the fact that they really listen to their customers, to their you know shooters, to their photographers. They've implemented some very cool features and I want to share the top five with you. I took some notes here so let me uh, grab them right here. So the first one that I'm really excited about is the fact that you can shoot in RAW and bring the film simulation attached to the file into Lightroom. So this is something I was already doing so I was importing my RAW files and I was looking at the JPEG and I was trying to figure out Mm, what, what was the, the film simulation that I put on that? Was it Classic Chrome? Was it Across? Now it's at, actually attached to the file and it's gonna apply, if you want it, the film simulation right onto the file in Lightroom. So kudos Fuji, again, for something that um, Fuji film shooters were already doing, but now that they've implemented it, it makes it very, very easy to import your photos. Another very cool, feature that Fujifilm decided to uh, play with is the size of the autofocus point. Um, one thing that my Nikon DSLRs were doing very, very good is to very capture the precise point in the eye of someone and then snap the shot and get the face in focus. So with the Fujifilm cameras, the autofocus point were really good, but it was always hit and miss when it came to very precise pointing of the autofocus point. So again, they listen and they fix that. So we now have a smaller autofocus point and I can't wait to use that in my shootings. The other point that I want to make is something that DSLR shooters were using a lot, I, I know I was using it, um, is the voice memo function. So you know you're at, you're at a location and you want to take a photo and take a note of either the person's name, uh, email, or actually the places you're in. I don't shoot with a GPS uh, device on, so it will be a very, very cool feature when I travel and I want to remember the place that I took the shot. So voice memo, again, kudos Fuji, love that feature. The third one, or the fourth one, actually, is the extended AA bracketing. So right now, uh, I think the uh, bracketing feature is three uh, photos, but now you'll be able to go up to nine photos if I'm uh, understanding the press release correctly. So that is massive because when you do uh, stacking in terms of exposures, you'll get more options and you'll be able to bring the shadows or tone down the highlights uh, just as you wish. So uh, extended AA bracketing very very cool and the last one is massive for me so the last one is programmable long exposure to up to 15 minutes so this is massive again for people who are doing long exposures I tried my first attempt to start photography when I was in Costa Rica I'm gonna put the photo right here um, I would have loved to have more than 30 seconds uh, and this is again something that the Fujifilm shooters have been asking and Fujifilm is responding to that so there it is, this is my top five feature that the firmware update that Fujifilm just released this morning is bringing to these two cameras that I use on a daily basis. If you have any questions about the Fujifilm ecosystem, please do ask them down below if you have any feedback or if you have comments about this firmware update, please share that with us because the community is the way to learn and I'm learning so much through the comments. I just want also to take a little minute here to thank you so much for following me on Instagram. Instagram is definitely my platform of choice when it, when it comes to sharing my work. And I just surpassed a thousand followers. I think I'm at, at 1,022 now or 17 or something like that. But more than the number, it's actually the comments, the, the, the questions, the feedback that I'm getting through that community that is actually helping me grow as a photographer. And if I can return or add any value back to other photographers or anyone who's interested in living a more creative life, then my job is done and I'm a happy camper so again want to thank you so much for following me if you're not following me on instagram you can do so so we can exchange on another platform at fred ranger and this is on instagram and facebook and all the, all the social platforms i have the same handle so it's really easy to find me so on that be happy enjoy life and enjoy your gear and your firmware cheers <laughs>